be a part of the regular defensive unit because you were a specific specialty player. Now, you know, we got real athletes in the NFL, so it happens. But just know one thing. The linebacker used to be the highest paid man on the defensive side. Now it just doesn't matter because the middle linebacker used to be the quarterback to your defense. And I know that's the thing that Matt Milano does for that Buffalo defense. And Buffalo's defense has been one of the better defenses in the league. So that's one of the bigger losses in the league that they won't talk about until it starts getting kind of ugly for the Bills defense. That's just something I'm throwing out there. All right, so let's get down to it. Um, I know we're running short on time. And um, we have ourselves the Monday night football game for this weekend. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be over at SoFi, and it features two of the better offenses in the league. We thought possibly better offenses in the league, but we know that Kellen Moore has ties to both these teams. Kellen Moore, the former um Offensive coordinator for the Cowboys, the current offensive coordinator for the Chargers. Chargers coming into this game, Jeff, winners of their last two in a row after w- losing their first two games of the season. Cowboys are a team that's going through some motions right now. They got absolutely crushed in Santa Clara last week. Um, but other than that, they've been a really good football team. Other than the two hiccups that they had against the Cardinals and the um, 49ers on the road. But this week, they don't really get to breathe easy. This is, to me, an even tougher game for the uh, Cowboys going into playing against a quarterback who's seen as already top three in the league in uh, Justin Herbert. And Justin Herbert, I don't care what anybody says, he should be in your early race as a possible MVP for this year because he's been absolutely just magnificent and he's just been a, a, a jewel to watch and the chargers really don't know how blessed they are to have a quarterback like that to be honest with you and if they can ever just get out their own way and stop overthinking this thing the chargers can absolutely be the best team in the nfl but until then they just it's a week by week situation the cowboys on the other hand they know that they're going to have the world against them okay and i know that the world is probably going to be picking the chargers by the time we get to Sunday night, because we know how it works. But I think that everybody will be right this time around because the Chargers will go in here with the con- with the confidence knowing that they can beat the uh, Cowboys because who they have in Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore is going to know exactly what defenses are getting ran right in front of them. So this puts them at a disadvantage, in my opinion. So I truly do feel the Chargers go up in here and absolutely romp and get their third win of the season. And I'm taking them with the plus 110 because I'm I'm high on the Chargers. I'm still – Chargers are still a playoff team to me, Jeff, at the end of the day. They just got to string together a good streak, and I think that starts now. You know, it's funny. I talked about Herbert in the offseason about MVP at 9, 10 to 1. Uh, <clears throat> they lose Big Mike a couple of weeks ago. Herbert gets hurt at the last game. Coming off the bye week, the Kellen Moore revenge game here. Uh, my number was Dallas minus 2 with a 48, now up to 51 or 50 in a hook in the uh, other Vegas spots. Um, should have the return of Austin Eckler as well. I mean, first one to 27 wins this game. Uh, I, too, like the Chargers. I will tell you exactly what you just said is correct, is anyone that had Dallas uh, against the 49ers will have the Chargers this week. There's no doubt in my mind. Dak has a week to sit in his you-know-what. Uh, you know, big games, nowhere to be found. I think there's going to be a shootout. It's going to be a fun, probably one of the funner games, funnest games to watch this week. Give me the Chargers plus 110. Again, first one to 27 wins. Uh, I think the return of Austin Eckler will be huge. Look out for Joshua Palmer um, to take big Mike's spot. And maybe, just maybe after the bye week, we'll see a little more Quentin Johnson as well. So give me the Chargers, Pops. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you know what? Don't forget about Darius Davis either. He's going to be pretty good as well, too. And Elijah Dotson, I think this will probably be the day, week that he gets really gets going. You know what I mean? Because that's another one that, you know, when he gets when he can get some space, it's going to be special. You know, because a chain, you know, I thought that Dotson was going to be like how he chain was is is right now. And you know what? It's just that the Chargers haven't utilized them well enough yet, but they'll they'll get to it. They'll get to it. But Darius Davis, though, brings the Tyreek element. And 
if they can figure out to put him in certain spots in certain situations, he can be a special player and be an X factor in a lot of these games for him as well, too. It's just so many weapons, so many options for the Chargers that it's just, you know, this team can be as good as they re- truly want to be if once they just believe in themselves, in my, in my opinion. But all in all, another great show, Jeff. I thank you so much for your time today and everything like that. I know you got another show coming up at uh, in probably the next eight minutes or so. So pretty much 